Nathaniel Hawthorne tends to get a bad rap these days because we're forced to read his novels in school. But um, I propose if you just set aside his novels and focus on his short stories, he really has a lot to offer, including some of the best horror stories that I think have ever been written. Hawthorne uses a lot of, of, of allegory and symbolism in his stories. Um, a lot of them are parables and like uh, that, that kind of force you to draw the meaning from them. They're often set in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the early American colonies uh, with, with, with Puritans and uh, that, whole, that whole time, um, historical time frame. A lot of authors have spoken about Hawthorne, including Poe. Poe had mixed feelings about him, but he called him a, an indisputable genius. Um, Henry James really loved Hawthorne. And Melville, of course, Melville actually dedicated Moby Dick to Hawthorne, his good friend. And uh, Stephen King called Young, Young Goodman Brown, a short story by Hawthorne, one of the best ten stories written by an American. And he, he influenced a lot of people and uh, made, a, made a pretty big impact on, um, on American literature. Like most everyone else, I d didn't care for Hawthorne much at all after being forced to read his novels in school. But when I got to his short stories later on in life, I realized that, man, there really is a lot more to Hawthorne. And I first encountered um, Hawthorne's short stories in an anthology with uh, um, the story My Kinsman, Major M M Moulineux. And after I got done reading it, it just it really, really surprised me because I thought, oh my God, what what is this? It's it just left me feeling very, very strange. And um, having that having that kind of powerful effect, I think, is the sign of great literature. And so that led me to um, Hawthorne's other short stories. These are the ones that I think are the best. It's hard to narrow down b because he has so many that are of very, very good quality and that I like so much. But the stories um, I already m m m m m mentioned, uh, My Kinsman, Major Moulineux, Young Goodman Brown is one of the classics that everyone talks about and it's um, very, very well known. The Minister's Black Veil is, is one of my favorites. It's, it's very, very disturbing. Um, Rappuccini's Daughter, which is uh, um, very, very clever with how he goes about making his argument in that story. Egotism, or the Bosom Serpent, is another um, one that uh, he, Again, Hawthorne uses a lot of symbolism and um, and allegory to make his his point. So he it's a way of kind of talking about things without actually talking about them. And he was he was very clever in that way. So and uh, he leaves it up to the reader to to infer what he's implying. And The Birthmark, which is another one of his classics that I think provides a great me 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 message, one very applicable, especially applicable to to our current society. So I think that one is especially is a one is a good one to read. And then two that aren't that are that aren't particularly horror stories, but the, the character's actions are just very disturbing. Um, is Wakefield and uh, the Wives of the Dead. Um, so 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 again, I think Hawthorne has a tremendous amount to offer um, outside of his novels. If you focus on his short stories, um, you'll see there's a whole other world of of great literature. His work. Is very thought-provoking and deep, and 
and gives you a lot to think about and to talk about with other people. And I think that's another sign of good literature, classical literature that um, continues to live. The feeling I get after I read Hawthorne's horror stories are are very. It's a very unique feeling that that I don't feel hardly with any other author except for maybe Jonathan Swift after reading Gulliver's Gulliver's Travels. Hawthorne as a horror writer, um, you can add him to your lists for Halloween reads or for horror reads or Dark Nights because they're they can really be horrific and disturbing. At least they have been for me. So. Uh, I'll leave it at that. Uh, check out Hawthorne if you get a chance.